doing a boost pull. Alright, F10, let's stop that. And if we look, we can see here, and this is really, really important that I, I, I want you to uh, kind of see the difference right off the bat here. We can see that we have a orange-brown color trace. That was our last pull. We can see how much more torque we gained just by going in and advancing the cam angle from zero to 10. This is the behavior you're going to expect on a turbo engine. We're gonna see the turbo spools faster. We make more torque. We get to boost even quicker. So looking at this, Looking at our torque in the mid-range, we probably picked up uh, around four to four to five thousand. We're picking up about another twenty to twenty-five foot pounds of torque without changing anything really, other than obviously our fuel here um, was probably a little bit rich and our ignition timing was advanced a little bit beyond what we had in zero degree. But we were just essentially moving that cam angle change, and we saw that we gained a whole bunch. And our top end of the table here, we see our peak power. Still about 215, 220, nothing really changed there, but you can see the horsepower, the, the mid-range of the horsepower gained a lot. That's kind of the beauty of working with this variable cam. Let's jump in here and take a look at this, and let's go through our fuel side of things first. We're probably gonna have to make some changes. I still see that odd behavior here with the wide band. It looks like it settles out. I, I'm thinking this is acceleration enrichment. Let's kind of ignore it. I'll probably actually do my pulls from 3,000 and above just to get around this area. I don't know what's going on with that. I, I hit my foot on the throttle, to, uh, to begin the run, and it, it's, it's picking up something odd there. So, okay, let's kind of look beyond that. Let's look at 3,000 and higher. We can see on the top end of the table here, we're hitting 10.8 air fuel, so we don't need as much fuel on the top end. I just sort of gave it a blanket 8% as I went from 0 to 10. I copied it, pasted it, and I just gave it a bunch of fuel. It doesn't really need that on the top end, so we'll go here. Uh, looking at this, we'll definitely go and take out 5, 6%. Five, and I'll just do control D here and just blend those changes back into the rest of the table here. Now, if you're tuning without a dyno, um, you don't have the luxury of, of having a chassis dyno, one tip I can say is if you copy your zero and copy it into your 10, if you're making power gains um, going from zero to 10, if it's a positive gain and you don't make any fueling changes, you'll notice that your wide bin will actually lean out. So the fueling demand that we found for zero will definitely be